Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. We're back in the 1.17 survival world and today we are going to be building over here again um, off camera if I quickly see. As you can see, I've built a building around the uh, cactus farm. That is what it's called. Um, as you can see, it's a building that if I just quickly lined up here, I haven't finished it. Um, it's three blocks of three of these by two of these. Uh, I did want it three by three, but it didn't really work out like that. Um, it caused a lot of problems with the actual farm, uh, with the cactuses not popping off properly. Um, and as you can see, I haven't actually centered it uh, properly. Um, I actually forgot to do that. There's more blocks this side than there is on uh, this side. As you can see, it's very obvious. There's like one block there and there's like three, four blocks here. Uh, but that's okay, you don't really see the inside of the farm, the only bit of the farm you see is the outside, and from the outside, it looks pretty cool, I uh, didn't expect it to look like that, what it basically is, is it's just um, a 3x3 three three with uh, like some edges on it, and then in the, uh, in the gaps, I'm going to put some uh, glowstone with some green glass. The only problem with this building is, because it turned out uh, having to be so uh, big, I am going to have to move the honey farm because if you look at where the honey farm is positioned um, I have done some work on it off camera before I actually built this um, as you can see where it's positioned the wall for the honey farm will have to go here um, and that only leaves a three block gap um, in between both of them and I think that is too close I don't want them to be that close uh, so I am going to have to rip this whole honey farm down and move it I'll probably move it to um somewhere like uh here or i might even put it on this little island here and then we can have a building on that um because yeah I, they're too close same with these ones around here i am also gonna have to rip out this because as you can see it is touching it uh these are way too close um so all this is gonna have to be ripped out sadly uh that's why i didn't want to uh, like finish any of them um, until I knew how big this was going to be. I tried to make it as small as possible, but uh, I still wanted it to look decent. Um, and I'm happy with how it looks. I am. I might turn these uh, green patches into concrete, uh, into normal concrete, not concrete powder, because I think that would look a little bit better. Uh, but apart from that, I'm really happy with how the cactus farm turned out. Right, so guys, now that I've ripped that uh, out as much as I possibly can, we're going to go get some sand because I want to start like terraforming some of the um, like around some of the builds that I've already built. So to make it look nice before we start building the paths up properly. So I'm going to get some sand real quick and then uh, we're going to head back over there. Um, I'm going to start with the cactus farm I think and that is if we have any sand. Uh, sandstone. Uh, how much sand do we actually have? We don't have much because I've been using sand quite a lot uh, for glass and stuff like that. So maybe we might have to go sand hunting. There's no automatic way of getting sand, I don't think. Right, so guys, now we're back over here. I am going to start by filling like this little area in. Because as you can see, obviously where I did have the farm here uh, before, it, I had to rip it all out to get the redstone in. So if I quickly just, uh, that's going to all fall down, so I'll get some blocks to put down there in a second. Uh, like Neverrack or something like that, just so we're not wasting sand. Uh, let's get Neverrack, and I did have some more Neverrack in here. Uh, let's just put this here, just so we're not wasting uh, loads of sand. Because if we don't have much, I don't really, really want to be wasting it. So let's just fill this in, and then we can like terraform all this afterwards. Uh, so there we go. So what does that look like? I still need to terraform all down here. Uh, the reason this is like so ugly is because I was taking sand from this area when I needed sand. Uh, because I had plans to rip this whole desert out and make it um, like grass. But that is no longer my plan anymore due to obviously we're going to be building um, buildings here. And having it all as um, like a path sort of thing. And then we're going to have a lot of greenery within that path. So we don't really need grass anymore. Right. So guys, I have done um, all the terraforming around this one building. As you can see, it is no longer floating um, in any direction. It's not the best terraforming. I've just done it for now. So it's not a floating building. It's actually got a flat surface to sit on. 
Um, I still need to do a lot of tether for me, as you can see, because a lot of it is stone, and I might keep some sandstone, uh, sandstone, but I want the majority of it to be like normal sand. Um, but apart from that, I'm gonna rip this farm down off camera and move it either over onto that island or into another spot, uh, maybe over here somewhere. But I don't want to build it too many farms like in the way of that, uh, because when I get to working on that. Uh, it's going to be like a cliff coming up and over and I don't want like big massive buildings blocking it. So that farm here uh, will most likely be moved onto that island and then we can do that island. Um, and then the never related farms I'm not sure about yet. That one will probably stay there as that one's perfect. The one that was here I'll probably put like over there somewhere um, or there. I'm not too sure yet. I have to like work it all out and figure out where the paths are going and stuff like that. But this farm will definitely be moved because it is way too close to this building. Um, the gap I want between them um, is a bit like that much of a gap. This is maybe a bit too big. Uh, you can fit the path down here and there's a few blocks on each side still. Uh, that is what I want. Um, I don't want to be in basically touching where you can't put anything down the side of them. Right, so guys, we are now in a different world. Uh, some of you guys may remember this world. This was the first ever world I, uh, first ever survival series uh, world I'd done on my channel. Uh, it's a bit of a mess because I like left it so soon. Um, but the reason I'm in this world is because I actually want to build something from this world into the 1.17 survival world. Um, so if I find it, it's this building over here. Um, I actually, there's redstone. I don't know if it still works or not. Uh, it looks like it's all been destroyed. Okay, no it hasn't. Right, so what I want to do is I want to build this in uh, the other world. So you'll see how it works in a second. Um, it basically, what it does is it powers. Um, when this is unpowered, it should push them blocks up. Yeah, like that. So let's see that happen again. Um, so let me quickly just get blackstone there and blackstone there. So when I power this and then unpower it, you should you should see it uh, activate. So as you can see, it is just uh, all shut up. And now if I unpower it again, you should see the whole thing open. Yes, okay, it does still work. So I want to build this um, at our base in the new world. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly like try and take pictures of this, um, of how it works. And then I guess I will see you guys back in that world. Right, so guys, I'm now back in the 1.17 survival world, and where I want to build this is I want to build it like here, um, on all of these doors, so mobs can't get in and out. Uh, the only way you, like, they open is through redstone, and uh, that's going to be quite difficult, I think, uh, to get it to fit in such a small space, but I think we can make it work. So what I need to do is I need to get all the resources we need. Uh, we need... Uh, observers, sticky pistons, uh, we also need droppers, uh, and we need redstone and redstone repeaters. So let me quickly just get some redstone and redstone repeaters, and then I think that's everything we need looking at the pictures. Uh, the only thing I think we might need more of is um, sticky pistons. So if I quickly just go back here, and I can do that and just turn this into slime blocks, uh, slime balls, and then turn them into sticky pistons. Perfect. Right, so that should be enough, I think. So let's try and build this now. Do we have enough uh, blocks to, like, clear out an area underneath here? Because obviously it is all water, so it's going to be even more difficult. So what I want to do is I want to go one, two, three, four, and then go, like, five down. Uh, three, four, and then like that. And I want to do this basically all the way around just so we have enough room and then I will uh, clear it out afterwards. So uh, one, two, three, four on the fifth one. Bring this down and uh, there's a drowned right here. Go away, go in the farm where you're meant to be. Uh, and then let's now bring this and connect these two up. There we go. So I'm going to quickly build this box uh, and then drain it out and then I'll see you guys once we are actually doing the redstone. Right, so guys, I have now done, uh, or digging it out, I'm now doing the redstone, so I need to make sure I get this in the right place. So the piston, 
the bottom piston should be on that block right there. Okay, so now that I've done that block, I can uh, tell where it goes from here. Right, so from either side, uh, we need one... Um, no, we don't. We need to have a observer, not an observer, a dropper. Uh, let's remove the hose so we can get some building blocks. Uh, and this dropper needs to go on uh, this block here. Nope, it needs to go on this block right here. And then the an observer needs to go like that with a block like that. But I will put that block in in a second. And then from there, uh, let's remove all of these blocks because I don't think they need to be there. Uh, from there, we then need to put... Um, let me just look at the second picture that I took from the back. We need to put an ob observer going into that one like that. The observer then coming out of that. A block on the end of that. And then redstone on the end of that. With a repeater going into that. Um, and redstone right there. And that needs to be on full ticks of delay. There we go. Right. And then finally, we need, um, last of all, redstone going into... Uh, this dropper so that should work now right if I'm correct this should now work how I want it to so if I get some blocks uh, I don't actually have any but anyway this will be covered up so if I now uh, take this block right here and take this block right here and put them there and there when I press this button it should close it Nope, okay, that is, that opened it, so if I open it, hmm, okay, something's not working right here, I might be missing something, uh, let me just double check that I'm not, um, it's difficult because I've built it like, um, in the other world, there was like two parts, so there was, it was a double door, and this one, it's only a one, so it's like kind of difficult to make sure I've not missed any blocks, Right, so guys, I'm, I've come literally just below our uh, base to find some redstone ore. And I've actually found some diamonds. Um, I found, what, four is it? Yeah, four diamonds. Okay, that's not that bad. I didn't actually come down here for diamonds. I didn't expect to find any. But just up here is some uh, redstone as well. I only need the one block, but I will grab some more while we're down here. Um, as there is a little bit more over here. Any more diamonds while we're down here? I won't say no to them. Right, so guys, we are now back at our base, obviously, and now let me show you what I meant by the redstone, uh, just in case there's some of you didn't know. Uh, let's fly on over this side, because it's easier to get in this side at the moment. Um, so what I meant by redstone is put, like, a redstone ore, uh, like here, let's say. Uh, let's just ditch that quick. Uh, so, like, here. And then, obviously, when you walk on this, it powers it. Um, or it like updates it so if I now put like carpet on there as you can see it updates it when I walk on it So now if I quickly just break down here as you can see the redstone is right there So what I can do is I can do that and Then bring the redstone across like that without interfering with um, the actual thing and I can do that There we go. So that now should power it again so now if I fly up here without going in the water, and now this should work. So how it works is if I just put that block back. So if I can like try and fly over there without actually powering it. Did that power it? No, it never. Right, so if I walk over this. If I walk over this. Ah, okay, no, this might not work. Um, at the moment it's powered. I need to wait for it to depower, which I don't know how long that takes. But when it depowers, as you can see, it actually activates the door. Um, that isn't... Okay, this won't work. Um, I thought it would, but it don't. Because obviously, unless I find a way of doing it without using... As you can see, it just powered again because I activated them. Unless I can find a way of doing it without using observers. So it only sends the one pulse. Uh, then that will work. But apart from that, that won't, this won't work. Um, so I'm going to have to find something else to do for it. Maybe I can use another note block. Uh, just hide it somewhere. I'm not too sure. 
But anyway, guys, that is going to be the end of this video. We built um, the redstone. We haven't actually done much in this episode, which is quite surprising as it's been a very long recording. Um, we terraformed over here. We uh, talked about that building. I didn't actually build that in this video. I built that off camera. Um, what else did we do? We terraformed around there. And we also built that door. Yeah, we haven't done that much. Uh, although it, the recording has took, taken ages. Um, and I need to get the video ready to go out. So if you did enjoy, leave a like and subscribe. And we've got a lot of stuff to do on this world. Especially with snapshots coming up very soon. Um, a Bedrock beta released yesterday. So uh, Mo Yang are back at work doing stuff for snapshots. So we will likely see one very soon. Um, probably not next week. Um, there might be one next week, but probably not. There'll probably one be. There'll probably be one the week after. But once again, we could see a snapshot any day. Uh, obviously, they mainly release them on Wednesdays. So just keep an eye out on the channel. As soon as there is a snapshot, I'll post it in the Discord, and I will most likely be live uh, showing off everything new. Uh, with it being a new year, we'll most likely get big snapshots now, um, introducing all the Lush Caves things, all the Warden things, um, and even cave generation. So, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!